Hello and welcome back to part three. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's part three of the Bristol Blood and Build, the new one from Airfix. So uh, I kind of jumped ahead and started with the engines, and there's three pieces there. You've got. Um, the engine itself, the sparks, plugs, and the exhausts at the back on both of them. And to be honest, they're very, very nice. All I did was painted them in a matte black and dry brushed them with a uh, silver. Simple as that. Last parts need to be painted. I forgot to do them when spraying. And they're the engine covers. Now apparently what Humble is telling us that the air intakes are um are a Humble seventy eight, which is cop bit green the interior colour. I've done some research on this because I wasn't sure whether painted um aluminium or if you're American, aluminum. <sighs> I hate that. I hate that word so much. But no, they're green. So that's that done. The green, which was a bit of a shock to me because I thought they'd be silver. But thank you to um, Rebels at Clown 9 who posted those uh, pictures from his blog. Thank you very much, sir. It shows that the, in the insides are actually in a green colour. So, next job now is to paint them in the green colour. I'm using uh, Tamiya's XF71 which is cockpit green. Oh, if you can get the bloody top off it's another bonus. And that tells you a lot about RAF bombers that, well RAF aircraft in particular, that they did have a lot of green interiors. That's one important thing about these aircraft is that you know exactly what colours are from which part so that's pretty handy, I need to remove that pipe part as simple as that, you leave it to dry, this is the thing with Tamiya paint, you pull it on and you leave it, you do not touch it otherwise it goes in even funnier colour for those who don't know how to use Tamiya paint, just quickly slap it on like that. And you do not touch it now. And that'll even itself out and dry itself, but you may need to give them another coat. Actually, you can't even see me painting that. No. Try that. Forgive me if I keep moving out of the shots. It's this new camera, and the I'll tell you something. The camera is so good at HD that it actually takes a while to upload these videos of this blender because it's just ridiculously long process of it. So I'm just recoating this part. Like that, all the flaps. There you have it. Uh, I'm going to leave them to dry. Uh, give them another coat in about half an hour and see what happens. Right, so what to do now? Well, I'm just going to demonstrate to you one of the engine fittings of the cowling. Unfortunately, this one has to dry. Uh, the plastic's so good, but the engine, these things are very, the cowls are very thin. I once tied it up, I managed to break by the end, but it's glued back in place. That's not a problem, not a big problem. So, even, look at that, even Airfix have engineered if problems go wrong, you can easily fix them. Thank you, Airfix. So, why is that dry? I just want to show you the one. This is the bottom cowling. And the engine exhaust stubs, which is really nice, 
are moulded within the actual engine. So that's nice. That's a nice thing. Uh, what shows is it's it's very nice here. There's like a little notch there, and that fits into this one here. Like so like that. So that's pretty nice what FX have done. All you need is just a touch of glue, as such, to seal it all in. That's really good with Airfix, thank you. And you just push it in to make a good fit around the engine hose. And what I like about this is, you know the, uh, how do I describe it, the little hubs where the engines go on. Here, they actually line up with the engine itself, the engine cylinders, sorry, with the, the notches at the ends. So that's again very nice. Now, why are the other colours? Uh, here and here, 20, 23 and 24. Oh, okay, fair enough. So 23 goes on the far side. So I may just very very careful, either that or a span sanding sponge. Just be very very. Oh, let me zoom you out a bit. Wrong way. Just be very very careful with this. This plastic is very thin, crisp. Actually, no. I'm gonna put a bit of glue on that. It doesn't quite. All you need is just a touch, and that fits on very nicely. There you go. The only problem is, is actually lining the covers up. Once it's all on, that'll be another bonus, really. So I mean it just has to kind of line up with each other. And that's just my phone gone off. Typical. I'll answer that in a minute. It's 24. Like what Airfix have also done, it's just no messing about with the instructions. Uh, you, have a re you have a read for it, you know where the parts are. I just simply get them out. It's just as easy as that. Airfix have done another good job. Okay, so we have problems already. Oh dear. Uh, oh. We do have a big problem. Guys, the engine covers don't fit up. Oh dear. Okay, so I spoke too soon on good things about Airfix. See if we can get this sorted out. Oh, get. Oh, uh, right, so. Uh,. Okay, well, that's kind of ruined that, I guess. The engine covers. Oh, oh my God! The engine covers don't fix up at all. Oh, Jesus! Let me zoom you in. See if you can see that. The engine covers don't match up. Oh no. Down air fix. What's going on? the 
hell is it? They are the right parts, it's it's not fixed on. So what part goes on that? That yeah, this part. I'm just gonna see if I can manage to Right, it's no good. I'm gonna have to cut all these engine cowlings out. I'm not gonna tie that up, I'm just gonna put it there. It's good detail, it all matches up. It just doesn't Oh my god, airfix. Jesus. Okay, so we ran into one massive problem guys. I think filler is required. Oh my god. Jesus. Right, elastic band time. Right, I'm I'm gonna go away and try and tie this up so I can do. Thanks for your patience. Well, I managed to save the engine. Just to be honest, I thought this was gonna be a good kit, but now I've changed my mind. Sorry, Airfix. That happened. Why does it always happen? Anyway, this little engine cowling is a pain. There's... You see, the two, these two fit perfect. This one doesn't connect into there. So, you can, yeah, you can see there. To there. So what's... Out of the way. See what I mean? Just when it doesn't add up. I heard, th I heard that someone actually sent this back to Airfix or something, and said, well, "What the hell's going on?" But a few touch-ups does look pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Bound to, it's a new Airfix kit, but however, it's just that little gap that's kind of annoyed me. Oh well, filling will be needed for that part. So there you go, kids. Let your parents do this, <laughs> alright? So I'm sat here with my nice glass of coke and mm, very nice after hard day's work and I've got the engines sorted these two little buggers here these are literally godsend the flooring models sanding sticks oh, they're godsend as you see there's the two um, I can't remember what rings they are, I can't, I can't remember, sorry. But, I've sanded the gaps down, and it is kind of made it better, uh, just a little bit. But, I I can't put them on, and I just took them off because I realised then I haven't painted the insides of them. And plus they're a different colour than, they're like, uh, a silver bronze colour, so, leave them off. And just left it like that. 
So I'm going to leave it like that and I'm just glue it on now. Just a bit annoying when you have to try and get these silly little things to take the filler out. So the, these sanders are literally it's just brilliant. If anyone like doesn't have them now, I recommend them getting them. So I've left those rings off for now and gonna glue the two engine halves onto there now. And then once that's done we can actually get painting. And that's gonna be pretty awesome. Because the colour scheme on this is just again awesome. I haven't built an RF bomber in such a while, and so it's just like an award for me building an RF bomber, especially a brand new one as well. So just press it down a bit more, give it a bit of texture touch, see if it's on properly, like so. You're fine. I'm going to add a bit of glue in here actually. Now, that's pretty good. That's just gone well. That's just simply just clipped in and locked in. So that's really nice. And they're level as well. So that's the only, re that's the only problem with the engines is just the. the. Uh, covers. Hmm. Really nice. Still a bit loose. That's just glue straight on. Hi. Ah, so I I left the yeah I, le I left the covers off for twenty four seven basically. Not twenty four seven, just twenty four and twenty four hours. And yeah, and it's pretty darn good. Huh. So, I think what's next now is going to be part four, and we're going to hopefully prime it and ready for painting. So, the next part will be actually painting the aircraft up. It's a very fun task to do. So, uh, you guess what's coming up now? I'm going to bid you farewell. Let this tray this drive for 24 hours and be back with you very soon cheers and goodbye for now